What? What's up everybody, Austin Robinson here. Some of you may know me as Space Case. My friend sent me a box. He didn't tell me what was in the box. He just said, hey, you should film an unboxing with this box. And we're gonna film an unboxing with the box. This is my friend Boxy. This is a box. Box, 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 box. All right, Boxy, relax. This is my channel, not yours. Box. Hey, don't back talk. Box. I'm doing you a favor letting you in this. Box. Did we have a problem, Boxy? Box. We're just gonna open this box. Before I fully get it open, he said it was a gift. He told me he bought it for me like three months ago. I'm gonna make a guess, Boxy's gonna make a guess of what we think is in the box. Personally, based off the size, it says it's two pounds. And he told me I couldn't hang it because we're both like artists, we love art. So I thought maybe you got me something to hang. So I'm thinking- It's not a person. Boxy, you can speak. I'm thinking that like, just based off all the context clues, like two pounds, it's kind of this shape. I know there's an artist that I really like. It would make sense if it was that book because that same artist also put on his Instagram story this week that all the books were shipped. Let's find out. What do you, you want to make a guess of what you think is in it? It's two pounds, it's this shape. What do you think's in it? A premium Lunchable. That would actually be kind of cool. Oh, have you seen the Brunchables? No. It's like a Brunchable. It's a crime against humanity is what it is. What's in a Brunchable? Like a shitty mug and then like the ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, exactly. It is. It is indeed that book. Banging on my chest. Don't Saying, he has a knife. what's up with the bad guys? He has a knife. Don't do it. Get at me. Don't do it. Get at me. What's up? That's what I think about this box. Yeah. I was kind of hoping it would stab through. That sucks. That was very uneventful. So I was right. It is indeed Craig Gleason's Bad Guys Club. Craig Gleason, do yourself a favor. Go follow him. His art is incredible. Boom. Unboxing. Done. Should I do a book review next? Craig Gleason. Craig Gleason. Woo! Evan. Yeah, Evan knows about art. Tell him about art, Evan. Craig Gleason. Craig Gleason. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sexy Craig. Craig Gleason, fine glass of wine. All right, and with that, Evan's gonna step out of the room because I'm gonna now become a book review channel. Yeah, we're just trying to find our niche. Whatever gets that money and subscribers, you know what I'm saying, everybody? <laughs> I am pained inside. Life is pain. All right, Craig Gleason's Bad Guy Club book review. Seriously, actually, this is happening. Craig, if you're watching this, I just apologize that we're the ones doing this. All right, we got the second camera set up and I changed my shirt because I'm sweaty. So what, wanna fight about it? I'm not a real book review channel. I've never done a book review. I'm also not that smart. So, just gonna warn you in advance, a lot of this is probably gonna be like, damn, that's sick, and oh, wow, that's so tight. Don't expect much, and you won't get disappointed. Bottoms up. <sighs> First became aware of Craig because of the Moon Goon and the Ghoul. I don't remember who specifically did versions of these. It was some Inktober and someone I like did one of Craig's things. And I found him through them and I've been in love ever since. On this page, like right here, if I had to get any of these tattooed on my body right now, I would probably get the TV with the eye patch because that's hilarious. Or the burger, I like the burger. Sexy Craig, boom, what a fine specimen. So I'm not gonna show every single page in this book because that would be outrageous and a ridiculously long video. No one has time for that. So we'll just point out some of my favorites and try not to sound like too much of an idiot. All right, first one that I'm already <laughs> loving, the Wedgie Boys. And this guy has a front wedgie. Hey, we haven't all been there. It says, punch him, Wedgie Boy 2. And then Wedgie Boy 2 it just says, okay, this guy. Dang, look at his butt. And he's got good calves too. You know, your eye immediately goes to the butt, but talk about those calves. Damn, this is like a portal into another dimension. That is an intense front wedgie. Dang, these are from 2015. He is really good at art for a long time. That's sick. Oh, these are all like underwater creatures. They're sick. I like this angler fish a lot. What does it say, bite me? That's awesome. I really like the angler fish. This is a really good quality book. Like, I don't know who he had this printed through, but the quality is top tier. Oh, the hammerhead's sick. Yeah, what the hell? The detail on this hammer right here is so good. Quality of this book. Craig didn't cheap out when he got this book printed. 
Oh, that guy has a little claw. I like that a lot. This guy has Hulk hands. Are you serious? I don't know if they're actually supposed to be Hulk hands, but they look like Hulk hands. Dale got Hulk hands. Oh, that one's really sick. Titty batch tribute. Bad with the six titties. And I kind of want to like cut that one out of the book and frame it, put it on the wall. There's actually a lot of these already that I've wanted to cut out of the book and put on the wall. I might like end up defacing this book, but I shouldn't, but I might. But I shouldn't, but I might. These guys are sick, obviously. Space case like space theme stuff. So these little moon goons and it's not necessarily like my style of art and I think that's why I like it's oh he's got the spiked bat. <sighs> Craig just like, he knows me. He knows I like leather jackets and weapons. And it says Le B The bat says Le B Is that a rat fan cat? That's kind of tight. I like that a lot. That guy's cool. He's got a little birdie on top of his head. Classic ghoul. I think this is one of the first things that I saw from Craig. Widowmaker. That one's sick too. I really like that one. That's another one I would think about cutting out of the book and framing. That one's cool too though. Somebody's gonna uh, have to step in and make me not tear this book apart framing things. This guy, he's got a little Hamburglar dude. That's fucking tight. See, I told you this was just gonna be like, that's sick, that's tight. I'm an idiot. Why are you watching this? Because Craig is the sickest. Okay, so this cactus guy, I totally do a little cactus guy of my own, but it's just nowhere near as cool as this. And I mean, Craig and I have very different styles. I'm more cartoony and simple. Craig's actually sitting here with shades and talent. Damn, why are you watching me? This guy's really cool, all of his arms. Broken beer bottle, the knife, and the money bag. That one's sick. That one, damn, like I want all of these on my wall. And I don't want to tear this book apart. Craig, why are you going to make everything so sick? He's got a little crony with all these little tattoos. That's sick. Oh my god, look at the detail on this. Okay, I have to bring this closer. Tattoos. It says left, and then it's crossed out and says wrong, and then this one says left. I like that a lot. That's sick. I forget where I heard this. It might have been like Life Form podcast or something that Craig did. But he was saying that all the bags that people, they're, it's because they're going on a trip to hell, and that's where they're headed. They all like look like they're walking somewhere, headed somewhere with bags. Apparently they're all on the way to hell, which is tight. I like that. This guy has hella knives and guns. He's got a little prostitute gun. That's so cute. He's cool. Too. Oh, he's got dynamite in his hat. What? The moon goon carrying the rocket is probably my favorite so far in this book. Damn. Oh, he's just carrying a dead guy with knives in his back. There's <laughs> a little cat with a knife. That one's so cute. The anglerfish, I'm a fan of the angler. Ooh, lady moon goon. She got some boobies on her. Ooh, the praying mantis is sick. He's got the gun, striped shirt, a leather jacket, which I love. Another titty bats guy. Oh, and this one has a pierced titty. Venus flytrap, guys. And they've got some crazy looking guns. Ooh, I like his jacket. That's very nice. And this guy's got a bunch of dynamite in the back. Damn, I can't wait to like actually not be filming this and like really take the time to look through the detail. Is this a good book review so far? I don't, I don't watch book reviews or know anything about book reviews. Am I book reviewing right? That guy's cool. I really like him. The hell and Bermuda thing. When I was like eight, I used to be obsessed with watching conspiracy documentaries about the Bermuda Triangle. And I would just sit there and watch like weird history channel stuff about the Bermuda Triangle because I was a weirdo. Another cactus guy. Just, oh, he's got checkered vans, I think. Maybe not vans. Maybe like vans didn't pay Craig for that placement, but he's got checkered shoes. Another titty bat. Craig's really good at doing titty bats. Oh, no, 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 no. Moon Goon. I like his pants. They're really cool. And he's, oh, he got shot. Holy cow. Where does a Moon Goon go when they get shot in the streets? It ain't safe on the block. Not even for the cops. Oh, the puffer fish is awesome. And he's got checkered plaid pants. That's so cool. Ooh, the Moon Goon with the cape that has all the planets like kind of mixed in there. Damn, Craig is like a master of color. Uh, bees are my biggest fear, so I really don't like this page at all. Um, makes me uncomfortable and reminds me of really bad times in my life because bees are mean. More specifically wasps. These guys are sick. Oh, I love all the colors. I'm like super easily entertained. If you have bright colors and weapons, I'm in. I'm in. You got me. I'm on your team. You got bright colors and weapons, sign me up. Ooh, Lady Cactus. Okay, with the sunflower eyes that also somewhat look like nipples, which is interesting. Oh, word, black page. Oh, crap, this one has Psycho playing on the screen. That's really cool. I wonder if he did that around Halloween or something. Ooh, space girl. This guy has a skateboard and a knife. I can relate, that's pretty cool. And it's like a creature from the Black Lagoon skateboard. I like these like subtle horror movie references. They're sick. Titty bats with a little ghost guy. Life is shit. Piss. 
classy. Oh, okay, so this is really cool. Craig's like super good at doing shadows, and even the little knife has a shadow, which is a very nice touch, I like that. More Hulk hands, guys. Send, this alligator shirt says send more tourists. These little mushroom guys, I think my girlfriend would really like these guys. She's super into like mushroom art, so I think she would appreciate the hell out of these. Another titty bats. Dang, man, Craig and titty bats taking over the world. All these guys are really cool. I like them all together, and I like all these colors mixed together. It's cool watching his style evolve through this book. And like, it's always been great, and all of this work is incredible, but like, damn, each page you're like, oh, it can't get much better than that, and then it does. Dude, she has five titties. Five boobies and a whole bag of money and the shadows, but five boobies. The shadows are good, but five boobies. Oh, broken heart, boys. We've all been there, am I right, fellas? Broken heart boys. At least they're there for each other. <laughs> Another TV guy, but it has Gumby on the screen. And besides that, the shading on his legs are insane. How is Craig so good at this? Holy shnikes, dude. For some, he reminds me of the Lorax. Her boobies say Uki and Eerie. And she has the fucking booberry mascot tattooed on her. And Mr. Peanut, but more importantly, the Booberry mascot. Best cereal. Booberry, Count Chocula, not Frankenberry. We at Space Case do not recommend Frankenberry. But Booberry? Hey, you know. Booberry, best Halloween cereal. Not even worth arguing. If you want to argue, I'll cut you. Invisible guy holding a gun. And it looks like the tag to that jacket says property of Satan, but I'm not sure. It's, no matter what, it's really cool. This is awesome! Rat Fink boys and they're all wearing Rat Fink shirts. Street rats. Toilet boy with a porno mag on top of him. That's awesome. Once again, not trying to like S Craig's D here, but the quality of this book is incredible. Ooh, I recognize this guy. I think Craig did like a draw on your own style. And there were a lot of cool like different things that I saw that people did. Artery clogger, burger. Once again, Craig, you're making me very hungry with this book. The Marlboro guy was so freaking cool. Marlboro, you should be paying Craig all the money to do your advertising. Oh man, the cactus guy got an extra arm this time and he took the, the little thing that he usually does off the top. That's cool, a little different. This is amazing. Okay, so this devil guy, look at all the little like screaming faces in the background. He really did that with like markers. That's insane. How did he do that? <laughs> like, how, Craig? How? Tell me. Tell me how, Craig. Mmm, another five booby girl. There's one thing Austin likes it's boobies. Kill and murder. So I think we're approaching the end of the book, which makes me sad. I don't want this thing to end. This guy's briefcase says nothing of value inside. So in other words, Craig put my entire art portfolio into this briefcase. At least it's going somewhere. I also like the 666 radio. Oh, that's it? No! I don't want it to end, damn it! No! Don't end now. Craig, I want more. What does Craig have in his workstation? Let's find out. He's got this splat guy, is that a woodcut? That's amazing if it is. Rat Fink hat, that's sick. Got a ghoul there, Batman and Robin. Wait, he didn't have any of his Batman and Robin guys in the book, I don't think. Craig did a version of Batman and Robin, that's really, really cool. Wish that was in there. Oh, but look at this fly girl with the big hips and the little bug on the leash, that's sick. And he's got Grimace on a cup. Oh, the cheeseburger on the ground. I'm so hungry. And then right at the end of the book, we have Craig just completely worn out, face down on his art desk. Great book. If I had to rate this book good to bad, I'd say it's very, very good. I don't know if he's even selling these anymore. I think they might have all been like pre-orders and all the ones that he had left, I think he already sold. But Craig, you are a master of what you do. Sorry that someone smarter didn't review your book. I loved it though. Shout out to my best friend Keenan for scooping this bad boy up for me. That was very nice of you. I didn't expect that at all. And you know, surround yourself with good people and you'll end up with a bad guys club book. Go check out Craig's work. It's incredible. Thanks for watching if you did. Sorry that this is where your life has brought you watching 
me anyway. Make art videos a lot. Feel free to check them out. My name is Austin. This is my channel. Like this video, subscribe and all that. Check out my Etsy shop if you want. That's about it for this video. I really enjoyed going through a book and like just talking about it. I might start doing this more. I know Alex Pardee is releasing some books, so maybe I'll pick one of his up and do that. Or I'll just pick up some like local art zines or something and I'll start doing this more. Kind of enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think I should kick rocks, give up, you let me know that, I guess. It wouldn't be nice of you, you know. I, I wouldn't invite you to the bad guys club if you did that, but whatever, hey, do, do what you please. Thanks for watching everybody, go check out Craig, and also check out my best friend Kean's art page, put in the description below, if you're too lazy to read that, it's at A Keen Bean, A-Y-E-K-E-E-N-B-E-A-N, he does mosaics with skateboards, they're incredible, check them out, thanks, see you next time for another video, farewell friends. Yeah.